Santa Ed. Ann. Oh God. What's Ed. up with you? Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Interested in promoting your brand, business, or talent on Hip Hop News Uncensored? Hit me up right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. Hit me ASAP. Very affordable rates now to our regularly scheduled program. I just don't, I don't have that kind of character, man, for that type of shit. Man. I hear you. Word. <clears throat> kind of transition a little bit. Talk about what Fat Joe's currently going through, him and Cuban Link. Now, obviously, Cuban Link threw out paperwork on Fat Joe, said he was a snitch. Fat Joe vehemently denied it. And then I don't know if you've seen if Isaac Wright Jr., the um, former inmate who turned lawyer and got himself out, he came out and said that the paperwork was fabricated, that it was complete false, that it was fake. Um, not to speak on his situation directly, because I don't know if you know that situation directly to speak on, but as far as the paperwork, have you seen it? And in your opinion, is it fake or is it is it all authentic? You know, it's hard to... It's hard to... It's, it's really basically hard to mm -hmm. judge me paperwork when you got the smartest in internet out here where people can actually write them shits looking like that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you get, you get what right. I'm saying? If the, the co-defendant ain't on here talking about right. this nigga, I've done 12 years behind okay. you, you, get, you get what I'm saying? If, if the nigga ain't on there, Doing that, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? I really don't question none of that shit. Right. I want to see the niggas that got it. Yo, I've done the time for this nigga, you know what I mean? Woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Because now, at this point, back in the days, yeah, paperwork would have been legitimate. Because that's mm -hmm. not, you know, people don't know that. Now, man, please, man. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm, still, I'm glad I put my shit out there a long time ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn, boy. Shit. I'm glad I put my shit. People used to be like, yo, you put your case doing it. Bitch. Yeah, nigga. That's how real it is. And, and I hate the fact that real talk, man, that all I fought for, man, to clarify my name and solidify who I am in these streets and what I've done and and get this far in the game, and that shit don't seem like it even matter. It don't even matter now. Because look, you know, I would have never in my million life died. I would have just never thought that a snitch platform could be bigger than mine, my nigga. Mm. How, how, how? How that shit registered to, to that shit don't even register in my mind that what's going on right now. Like, uh, you know, I'm a fucking snitch. That nigga got more popularity than me. Oh, yeah. Plenty of them. I wouldn't even, I mean, Sammy Bull, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Sammy Bull, yeah. A, a fucking real motherfucker. You feel me? But these dudes, y'all checking for these niggas? Man, I'd rather hang out in the park with my little eight-year-old man and watch kids play, man. <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't uh, be thinking about this because that shit really fucks with my mind. I'd be so real about it. Like, how, what kind of games they playing? They got yeah. nerve to be on here talking about paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Man, it, it's it's crazy. Like, like I said, the only thing the only thing that works for me is somebody the the person that done the time. And then a lot of people, you know, people do discuss choke. I mean, I've got a lot of choke backlash because I fuck with them. But I'm listening to Duke and I'm leading this case and I'm bugging it and I'm trying to make sense of it. And I'm talk, I talk to choke and, 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 and real talk. Like, I'm trying to figure out how a nigga do so much time. If he did it, what the fuck you taking other niggas with him for? Mm. Mm. I, I'm just trying to make some common sense of this because I come from a place, if a nigga did something, and they got them, and three more niggas can get, two more niggas can get away. Well, what the fuck are y'all going, what, what, what am I taking y'all with me for? Mm -hmm. So you I read didn't the know what kind of niggas y'all dealing with. You read the paperwork for Choke? 
Yeah, they, I mean, I, I seen the paperwork. They read it. You know what I'm saying? And and, and how it's you you seeing the statements of a person saying of choke saying, "Yo, I, I don't want to be here. They making me do this." I mean, what fucking more motherfucker want to see? I see. Yeah, I mean, like I said, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. My brother, go ahead, like bro. I said, bro. Like I said, bro. What kind of nigga do time and bring you in down here with me? I ain't. I, you ain't gotta do this. I shouldn't even be. I, I shouldn't be in here. But they, I know that the state can make you try to make you go go up there. You don't have to comply. Yeah, I seen. I actually we actually interviewed that brother, uh, Johnny Bunton, and I think his problem with Choke was that. Uh, Choke's testimony actually corroborated with the prosecution was trying to put him away. Like, I think Choke told him he seen he seen blood on the shirt. He came back around with blood on the shirt. So his testimony kind of corroborated, you know, the story that the prosecution was trying to do uh, get uh, against Johnny Button. That's what I think everybody was but trying to. With the blood, I mean, well, I didn't see no no nothing in the testimony saying that it was blood on something. Oh, you got to go check. You got yeah, you got to go dig into it. It's out there. Okay, okay, see, look, I'm saying, look how much different now I'm looking at two and three different. See what I'm saying? Why don't you know? I mean, this is what I'm saying, man. How am I fucking? I'm not picking and choosing. And nigga, if you a snitch, I really don't, I'm not fucking with you, right? But I do know it's, it's certain things that niggas get tied in. You gotta know this system to understand that word, man. You really gotta understand, know this system to understand this word. You know what I'm saying? Can the state pressure a nigga to do and get on the stand? Yeah, but do can the press state make you see something you didn't? No. So getting on the stand would that would that be considered? Let's say let's say if they was supposedly selling drugs together, as the story goes, and Choke gets on the stand, does that make him a rat? When you being on the stand, this is what I'm trying to say. That's a different. That, what do you on the stand for? You have a business on the stand. It's too. It's a different analogy. I mean, that's not even. That's not a good analogy. I'm just saying, my guy. If it's, if it's three of us, and I run around that corner, and I do something, and I run back in here, and then whatever happens, I end up getting caught because somebody saw me. Why the fuck are y'all in there too? Right. That's all I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got so many different fucking perspectives to look at shit, which is not my business. Really. You know what I'm saying? You know, really, it was not my business, but that shit is so rigged up. Who are you to believe? What are you to believe? And, and then there's a third person involved that act like he's fucking like, what's wrong with these dudes? <laughs> you ain't getting this third person to get him in the right here and tell but it is. What's the secret about? So, so talk. much shit, bees. Yeah. Go no do you think? Go do you think? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's a lot of time to be trying to investigate somebody's shit, and that shit all stirred up like that because you know I, I just can't pick up why if I done something why my man's in them in here with me, and if I can let them go, if I can get them out of here, you you get what I'm saying? I, I you see the story with me and Petam on my on my page. If anybody read that story, you know what I'm saying? Like. We go by honor in the cold, man. And, and today, I don't get that shit. Yeah, we we looking in today's era where there's so much nut shit going on, and then we see, like you said, rats get more publicity, and then you see rats with YouTube pages trying to get publicity and all kind of wild shit. That is it. Does it even matter anymore? Like, it just how how much does that even the honor of that code even matter? Like, and I'm not even talking about to the level where like. All right, we're doing some dirt in the street. I'm killing somebody, all that shit. I'm talking about even simple as, man, this brother got a secret or something, and you going and running your mouth. Like, does it even matter? Does that that honor even hold any merit anymore? Okay, so you got secrets and you got loyalty, right? Mm -hmm. Why would you test me? to break your secrets. And when I say test me, say we just have a fallout. I mean, me and you come, you know, we, we got secrets about each other, deep shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. You trust me, you know, this is what it is. And it's, it's the loyalty that we have that, you know, I, I don't talk about my man business so I wouldn't exploit my man business or whatever. But me and you have a falling out of, with a chick 
And we don't, you know, we just not fucking with each other no more. And I start doing foul shit to you. You get what I'm saying? I start doing just test like pressure bus pipes. So when I say something, I'm like, yo, man, this motherfucker, man, you know what, man? I think I like boys too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I seen him do this. I seen him do that. I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? But a nigga break a, a, a bad secret on you. Right. And now people are like, yo, y'all ain't together. Y'all ain't been together in five years. Now, why would you say that now? Because he ain't fucking with you or woo woo woo. And some people break secrets because out of the loyalty, I got secrets on you. I come to you and say, yo, I can't get on your show. And you be like, nah. So I'm like, damn. What the, uh, how you letting this? How you let me hold this? And yeah. Just be now. It's about be careful who the fuck you even talking to. Mm-hmm. Private, your, your private. Who you know? Who know your private life? Your secrets. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing as like saying like, yo, why the fuck Jay would go that hard at this nigga? And this and this, and this shit that I haven't even said right <laughs> that I'm still hold on to because. Right. My, it's not my loyalty, it's my fucking character and my dignity about shit. Yeah. You feel me? Uh-huh. And, and I said, and, and most, some people say, I would, he would be gone. There would be no Jay-Z with all the shit he done to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and like, so when you say, like, is it a code and is it a loyalty, man, Go in there, uh, what they call it, the only secret is in the confessions booth, whatever that shit is. <laughs> you walk in there, you talk to him. That's it, bro. That's the only person you better uh, really trust. 